Hey guys, Grady here. Just taking a walk. Hold on. Just taking a walk um, with Robert. Um, <clears throat> it's December 4th today. Wow. In exactly three weeks, exactly three weeks, it will be Christmas Day. Can you believe that? Wow, we. I know I can't. I mean, I know it's true, but I can't believe it. It's just really, you know, wow. Christmas is already here, basically. That's really, wow. And Hanukkah started yesterday, so, um, not yesterday, on the second, it started at sundown, so, happy Hanukkah to those of you who are Jewish, who are my subscribers. Hope you're enjoying your holiday as well. Um, <clears throat> But, yeah, um, there's that, but I want to talk about something else today. Guys, there's still so much violence going on in the world. Please, guys, enough with the violence, okay? Please, especially, you know, during this time of year. We can't be having more violence. We need to not have any more violence, okay? No more, n no more violence, okay? None, please. Be nice to everyone this year and always, especially during this time of year, because I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. I don't want anybody getting beaten up. I certainly don't want anyone getting shot. So, you know, just please, 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 no violence, okay? No violence. So many people on the news channels on YouTube still being horribly violent. It is despicable. They're all saying, at least the people on Trump's side, are all saying, oh, I'm glad California's burning all those people should die with them. Guys, those are people, those are children you're talking about. You're joking, right? If you really think that that's the moral thing to do, you've got to be joking. Those people do so much for the rest of the country. The other states don't really do shit. I mean, they, they don't. You know? One of the things that makes California so great is that they do, like, nationally everything for us. And they're the most environmentally friendly state. Well, they might not be the most, but they're striving for that. You guys are all just sitting there, bitching, moaning, and whining. Oh, the damn liberals! Get the hell over it! Get the hell over it! Okay? Get the hell over it. It will not change. Okay? There are tons of people in California who are conservative. There are people on all sides who are good and people on all sides who are bad. Okay? And I really don't know why people are still supporting Donald Trump considering he's acting very much like Fidel Castro in a lot of ways, you know, and what I also don't understand is like, man, I was, there was a guy on CNN the other day, you know, he was like, oh yeah, I'm concerned about the children, about the people of North Korea, and I'm like, yeah, but you don't give a shit about the people at the border. It's disgusting, guys. It's despicable. You've got to be joking, in all honesty. If you really say that you care, then okay. Show, show some decency and respect and start caring for everyone. Okay? You know, they say, oh yeah, they should separate those children from their parents. Yeah, and traumatize them. Beat them up. Torture them. Maybe potentially rape them and kill them. Really? You really think that's what innocent children should have to suffer? 
This is this is why I don't care about freedom because this is what freedom did and still does. This is what freedom does. That's why I say fuck freedom every day. This isn't cool, guys. Like this is this is a big pro a huge problem. None of you care because you just care about the fact that Trump won the presidency. You don't care either way about what he says he's going to do versus what he really does. You really don't, and it's really sad because he's not doing a very great job. I promise you he isn't. You know, I really don't understand how certain people can support him. Quite frankly, I don't really under... Whoa! Whoa! How really any person with moral sense and capacity can um, support him. But I mean, I'm not going to wish him violence, though. I mean, I, I mean I'm not. I'm not, because that's, you know, that's just wrong. And I want to stop all the violence, even if it's towards him. I want to quit all that violence, because it's just so uncalled for. And it's completely inappropriate and disrespectful. It is. It's really rude to be that way. You know? I mean, he's a joke. He's a joke. He cares so much about the children in China, but then when it comes to the children at the border, he doesn't give two fucking shits about them. He doesn't care if they die. He'll dance and rejoice. He could care less. Something bad happens in China, he loses his mind. If something bad happens at the border, he's like, oh well, you know, just deal with it. No big deal. You're, jo you're, you're joking, right? You really think that makes him a good president? You've got to be joking. People are so unintelligent. I'm not even joking. They're so unintelligent. But at the same time, nobody is perfect. Nobody is. And it's true, nobody is. Nobody is perfect. We all need to realize that. But a lot of people don't realize that. It's really horrible what happens, you know? It is, it's, it's just horrible that people think the way that they think. It's just horrible. You know, I've never seen a worse president because I mean I don't know if this is what happened with Nixon but you know Nixon he had pretty good numbers I'm pretty sure they were even better than Trump's numbers he came out and resigned we were gonna impeach him and then he came out and resigned and the truth was out that he is a crook I mean is that what's going on here with Trump too you guys voted for him or you guys support him and you just can't face the facts that like maybe you made a huge mistake and maybe you're supporting somebody who's not that great. Okay, I did I I grew up learning the right way as a kid. Stealing and cheating and all that is not, you know, being a crook is not cool. It's not. I don't care what people say. It's never okay to steal ever. Well, let me rephrase that. If it's for something that's unnecessary or even necessary to a certain extent, it's never okay to steal. It's not. It's just not cool. Okay? It's not cool. You know, and these people, they, they make me very angry because it's like they think that Trump is doing all these great things. You need to watch other channels other than Fox, okay? Because Fox News, that's... That's not even news. It's just opinionated shit that's just crazy shit. Rudy Giuliani shit. No, I don't watch Fox News because I don't want to watch a news network that is so horribly one-sided that it doesn't matter who the candidate is on the other side, that they're just so horrible to them just every damn day. I never, ha I never saw CNN say anything bad about George Bush or John McCain or you know but Fox News they say they say everything bad about people that don't agree with Trump no matter what side they're on they just 
call them all bad people. They're not all bad people. Okay, not all Democrats are bad. Get that out of your head. Not all Republicans are good. Get that out of your head. Trump's not even a real Republican. He's been a registered Democrat his whole life, and he praised Hillary Clinton. And yet you guys are all calling him, you know, a god. No politician is a god, okay? None of them. Trump certainly isn't. He's more like Satan than the god, but still. Obama wasn't a god. John McCain wasn't a god. Neither Bushes were gods. Bill Clinton wasn't a god. None of our presidents were ever gods, okay? Get that out of your head. Trump is not perfect. He's the worst president we've ever seen. You know, people tell me, oh, he's doing so much, and I'm like, yeah, he is doing so much bad stuff that it's driving me and the rest of my family nuts because he's just doing all these horrible things. And, you know, his ba they don't care. They don't care that he's doing all this stuff. It's really sad. They know what's going on. They just don't care. That's the worst part of it. They don't care that he's lying and that he's cheating and that he's being a danger, not just to our country, but to the entire world. Everybody is starting to pull back. Everybody who is, who's been our allies in the past, they're starting to pull back. Canada is, you know, England is, all of the United Kingdom is for that matter. Australia is, Italy is, Europe as a whole is, you know, they're all, they're all pulling away from us. You guys say whatever, oh, well our bonds with them are st more, are stronger now than they ever have been before. No, they're not. That's what Fox News wants you to believe. That's not true at all. That's not true, okay? You know, I was talking, I was talking to a customer at work the other day and, I, and she said she was from Brazil and I told her I'd love to go there and I'd love to see the Amazon. She said she'd never been to the Amazon rainforest before. Um, and I told her I'd love to, um, oh, it's a pretty day guys. I told her I'd love to go to Brazil but I know that they're having troubles right now with their new president. And she said, he's a good guy. He's Trump thinking and he's gonna do good things. And I thought, oh my gosh. I felt so sorry for her. The, Brazi the Brazilian American president is worse than Donald Trump, okay? And that's saying something, because you don't really find too many leaders in this day and age that are worse than Trump. Yeah, you've got Kim, but everybody knows that Kim is worse than Trump, and everybody knows that Putin is worse than Trump, too. But at the same time, Trump thinks that they're really nice guys, Kim and Putin, and that, you know, that they're going to be his friends. And, you know, and he's saying, you know, oh, yeah, you know, they're nice guys. They're, they're good to their people. You're joking. I mean, Kim has his own people killed every day. You've got to be joking if you really think that that's, you know, that's not cool. That's, that's scary. And you guys are like, well, that's the one that I voted for, and... You know, you don't, you, you do not care that he's doing these horribly dangerous things. But I'm not going to stand here and be a violent prick towards him because unlike some people, and yes, Democrats, I'm talking to you too. Unlike some people, hi babies, hi babies. Unlike some people, I'm a moral person. And I don't go around wishing violence on other people or being violent towards other people. It's not right, it's wrong. I don't care how corrupt a politician is. Don't be a violent prick towards them or to any of their supporters. Because that's not the way to be, you know? It's people on all sides that are immoral. Or, yeah, they're, they lack morality. They're horrible, vile, disgusting people. And it's so sad. It's really sad. Anyways, guys, that's going to market for this video. So you all have a peaceful day. Thank you for watching. 
and happy holidays and I will hopefully see you guys yeah tomorrow with another walk stop it Robert all right thank you for watching bye